Garden Answer, and this is a bee update. So if you haven't seen our first video, we did one, I think it was about the end of April when I installed my new bee colony in my brand new hive. And we'll leave a link in the description below if you haven't seen that video. Uh, but we thought it was time to give you guys a little bit of an update. So about mid-June, I noticed that the activity around the hive had decreased slightly, which I kind of really didn't think a whole lot of because it was so hot. It had spiked to like 110 degrees. Even, I think it got up to 112 one of the days and it was like that for 10 days in a row. So I decided to get in there and kind of see what was going on and when I opened the lid there was still, there was like a good sized cluster on the top of the frames and then I could see them working in the frames below and I don't know a whole lot about bees and so I thought well maybe they had gone, I had two boxes, the two boxes one on top of the other, thought that maybe they had worked their way down to the lower box because maybe it was cooler. I don't know, I don't know if that's a thing that they do, but um, so I really didn't think much of it and thought I'd just leave them alone for another week and then check on them. So when I got back in the hive a week later, this is what happened. My bees left and I am a little bit bummed out about it but there is a small part of me that's a little bit relieved because now I don't have to worry about them through this next winter and I do plan on ordering more next spring. I have done a bunch of reading though and I think what my colony did is what they call absconding and that's when the whole colony just up and leaves. It's different than swarming. Swarming is when the colony breaks roughly in half and part of it goes one way and the rest of it stays right there in the hive but I have no bees left in that uh, hive so I think mine absconded. There are several reasons um, why a colony will abscond, and one of them is really, really um, high temperatures or a spike in temperature, which happened um, in June when I started noticing the population decline. It got up to 112 one week in June, and it stayed about 110 for nine or 10 days in a row, so I think that was a big factor in why they left. And the other reasons are um, new wood, and my hive is new, and a new paint job, which paint, I guess, is a deterrent to some colonies. Um, other things are a bad odor, and I haven't noticed any bad odors in our backyard, so I don't think it's that. Um, a lack of fresh food or water source, which I know it's not that. I've got tons of flowers in this yard, and so do my neighbors. And I have a great big fountain um, with fresh water every day in it, and I even floated some little pond plants in there so they could have a nice little soft landing spot to take a drink, and they were using it. It was making me so happy. Um, the other things are disease. Uh, I think that's it, disease. But I don't see any uh, dead bees anywhere. There's no dead bees anywhere in the hive or on the ground or around the hive. So I don't think it was uh, disease or pests. I think that was, I don't think I said that. Pests is another thing like mites, that kind of thing. So anyway, I think it was maybe a combination of too hot of weather and maybe just the new wood and paint on the hive. They just didn't like their home. <laughs> Sad. I hope that next year I will be more mindful of all of these things and I'll have better luck. And if any of you out there, any of you seasoned beekeepers have any tips or um, knowledge that you want to share with me, please feel free to do so and like come to my house and teach me how to keep bees. I would love it. So anyway, that is our bee update. It's very sad news, but we will move on. See you guys in the next video. Bye.